without any oxygen-assisted equipment, dared to dive to a depth of 100 meters and hold your breath for up to 20 minutes. How the fuck thrilling is free diving? Let's follow Guillaume's lens and witness the stunning scenes that unfold. He takes a deep breath, compressing nearly 10 liters of air and plunges straight into the water. Then he grabs a rock to keep his balance on the ocean floor. During the first minutes he was sinking, his body triggers the diving reflex, slowing his heart rate from 65 to 35 beats per minute. Soon he dives to 40 meters below the surface. The seawater here is very dense. He was able to dive inertially without exerting himself. Then he arrives at a stone platform. It's like an abandoned ancient underwater city, surrounded by neatly cut boulders and stone steps, possibly a place of ancient worship. He gently lands his feet on the platform, observing his surroundings meticulously. He has been holding his breath for 10 minutes, but his movements were not affected in the slightest. He just kept moving around and observing, seemingly trying to find traces of an ancient civilization. After navigating through deep underwater canyons, he reaches the edge of the stone platform and jumps off without any hesitation. The environment here is starkly different, with vertical limestone formations everywhere. Finally, he reached the bottom of the wall. It was already 60 meters underwater. His body shows the second physiological response. The capillaries in his lungs start to engorge, and his lungs stiffen to protect his chest from being crushed by water. Yet Guillaume calmly steps on a great white shark and proceeds at a steady pace, fearless of the abyss behind him. His hands and feet keep climbing, which is a great test of the diver's mental strength. If anything goes wrong, he may never return to the surface again. He then reaches a cave entrance and swims in without hesitation. Legend has it, it's a sacred site of the Maya civilization, hiding countless treasures. After passing through a dark area, he seems to enter another dimension. This is 100 meters under the sea. The increasing water pressure visibly compresses his body, collapsing everything below his diaphragm and flattening his chest. Yet, Guillaume maintains control, showing incredible mental fortitude. He then sees waves crashing onto a beach, but it's actually a unique underwater spectacle created by overly concentrated salt water. This scene gives us a strong illusion of space. Guillaume dances through it, a mix of romance and solitude. Suddenly, two people with spear guns appear in the frame. They're the Bad Jiao people from the Philippines, one of the last sea nomadic tribes on Earth, spending almost their entire lives in the ocean. Guillaume doesn't want to disturb them. He just greets them and swiftly swims upwards. Now, over 50 15 minutes into his dive, his cardiopulmonary system is near its physiological limit, yet his movement remains calm. However, the sudden appearance of a group of sharks does give him a jolt of tension. Fortunately, the sharks don't attack, and Guillaume calmly faces potential dangers, boldly swimming among the sharks as if he's one of them. Finally, as he's about to reach the surface, something even more astonishing happens. A sperm whale suddenly appears in the frame, followed by two, three, a whole family, all standing vertically in the water, sleeping like colossal pillars of gods. To avoid disturbing them, Guillaume keeps as quiet as possible but ends up waking them. The whales, however, aren't angry. Instead, they seem to welcome the new friend. This is the magical beauty of nature. At this point, Guillaume has been holding his breath for 23 minutes, a feat probably only he could achieve worldwide. Finally, as his body's potential reaches its limit, he looks around, kicks his legs, and starts swimming upwards. The moment he surfaces, he takes a deep breath, concluding this incredible underwater journey. 